back. We got red pop here, and that's it. We just have red pop. No food. Stop asking for food. We got all right. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Guys ain't high. Yeah, this is a good idea. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Yeah! Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of Detective Mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This'll be worth it, I promise. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, you know, okay, sure. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my god, I, I swear to god it was right here just a second ago. I, I, we, we were right here, I don't even know. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth, according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else.
Yo, bounty hunter, wanna do some perfectly legal business? Power sliding! Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Hey, what's up, Blordo? You know anything about a, a, where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S-rank interrogation. Oh, power slide! Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you have to wait for me in a funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life store. Hopefully, oh, yeah. the slums hey, are hey, a little yeah. more chill now that we took out Nine to Tor. Hey, Nobody you wants heard to talk you were asking around for Jim. Oh, fucking goddammit! Hey! Let me get some beauty.
Try using my time bubble every once in a while, maybe? Is going up around here. High on life has got to be close. Oh, thank God you picked me. I was scared I'd never get to see you again. Up to you. 
If you have ideas that are different, I'm fine with that too. Why aren't you using my trick horn? Outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? And Why I was it attracting the crowd? So many questions. I and I'm asking them for real. I'm... Hey, don't worry, detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during... Well, 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 I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way, you know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, that's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up-and-coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard-earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo! These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D-ranking because that one sucked. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your Hyperbong? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Oh, uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D-ranking. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. 
That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detected. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Poof, watch out, that's my elbow! Holy shit, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend David. Oh. You can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? Hey, sick move! You're making good use of those mag boots. Oh, you need my help, huh?
Let me guess, you forgot about my trick hole. Well, it's ready if you need it. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast him to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it, that's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah, then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey! I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. How'd it go? Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. Yeah. Well, I kind of regret not voting for him. Okay. Hey. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Sorry, why did you want to talk to me? Because I think you're ugly. Oh, Jesus. Why did you, out of nowhere, you just told the stranger you think he's ugly? Okay, bye. Bye. No, no. No, go away. Bye, bye. Bye. Go, no, go, up, yo. go. You need to come back. Go. You go away. You called me ugly. Thanks for watching. You look ugly. <laughs> bye. This month's at Grizzy Felsen's Joke Hole. Subo! What's the deal? You're doing great work.
This month's at Grizzy Felson's Joke Hole. Zubles, what's the deal with those airplane snacks? <laughs> he is a huge comic person. Hey, whoa! Whoa, what's the deal with knobs? I mean, wah, 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 wah. you ever try to buy oranges and all they have is uh, watermelons? <laughs> the funniest guy you've ever seen in his sitcom's a huge hit on the one channel you watch. Oh my god, that guy's jokes were fucking awful, but his body made me laugh. Oh, I'd go back. I don't think the comedian is very funny, but uh, I did really get a few laughs out of watching his body. I couldn't believe it. I went there at the same I left at...
disc. Time bubble friend. Oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic... Hey, come back! Is Dr. Giblet supposed to be here? I feel like he's supposed to be here. Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblet with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Okay, great. That sounds really fun. Oh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. And just like that, the chase was on. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Okay, back to detective mode. It's detective time. These must be old hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. All 
right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. We spotted another Gatlian. It didn't look so good. But then again, neither did I. I look crazy. Who am I to judge? Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you didn't need us to find clues. That's okay, it was still really fun. Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Another ambush. That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. If you're everyone calls me crazy, look at me now. We're trapped in here, falling prey to the glorious science you're ever so jealous of. That's right, Primothy. I know it was you. No matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Farewell, Pussy Giblets. Sweezy time! You don't scare us! Oh, 
Is that all? Hmm. If you're hearing this, it means you made it past my first onslaught. Perhaps you aren't my son, Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Karubis. Didn't he know we were coming? Jay, Karubis! I kind of respect how many messages he had to record. Karubis, Karubis, Karubis. Always complaining about being the lowest rung on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot at the top, didn't you? Well, think again, because... Just like you wanted. I was not proud of you, but you picked the wrong dirt to get dirty with. I'm bad with analogies. Krubus, could this actually be about the time that I slept with your wife and then convinced her to divorce you and marry me instead? Ideology. 
I really did respect you when I was alive. But then you killed me. So it pains me, but I must kill you back! Deadly poison gas, or is that just me? I couldn't even tell if the thing was alive! I hate the G3 for obvious reasons! to see who he's mad at next. Okay, this is my final message. If you're still alive to hear this, then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself! I killed myself! Oh, wow! I didn't see that coming. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Then there. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. I pooped. Remember when we were detectives earlier? He might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. I just wanted to say, you know, today... Today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, god, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! Great, who cares? See ya! Oh, look at that! You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself! See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go! Come on over, let's bow wow! And Jill can come make after at night when the mask is off.